Chile's billionaire president-elect got what he wanted, another crack at the presidency. For the second time in 27 years, Chile has swung from the center-left to the center-right, both times with Sebastián Piñera, the market's favorite. The former president, a successful businessman, promises better times ahead as he extends an olive branch. Quiero ratificar. I want to renew my commitment to all Chileans, a commitment to unity and dialogue, and so I invite all of our previous presidents to share their experience and advice with me so that we can reach national agreements to tackle our biggest problems. At the headquarters of centre-left candidate Alejandro Guillet, there were long faces. Guillet had run on the promise of accelerating the social reforms started by the current government of President Michel Bachelet. But the former journalist's inexperience and Chile's sluggish economic growth ultimately gave the Conservatives the upper hand. Piñera has been linked to several shady business deals and political scandals, but clearly it did not matter. I think the general issue is that politicians are now so discredited that people just assume that they are liars or thieves or whatever, um, and then choose between the lesser of two evils. Chileans have made their decision, joining the recent Latin American swing towards the political right. But Sebastián Piñera will not have an easy time of it, not only because the electorate has proven itself to be more demanding, but also because he will not enjoy a majority in the legislature which means Piñera will have a hard time rolling back on still popular social reforms, as is happening in Brazil and neighboring Argentina. Piñera government is going to be more of an administrative government. It's going to, going to be very similar to what we saw in his first term in power. It's going to be more short-term oriented. It's going to be related to jobs. But this time round, Sebastián Piñera will have to be less accommodating to the business elite. The election has shown that Chileans have become far more demanding and are expecting results, no matter how hard they may be to deliver. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.